Is it Cricut? It looks tilted. Maybe it is. Anyway, hey booze and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. And drama. I ain't even got no reason other than the fact that I just didn't record. That's all. Um, we are downstairs in my office. I feel like y'all have seen various places in my house and <laughs> in my car. And today, since I am working, I was like, boom, let me just throw y'all up on the desk and talk to y'all real quick since I got a minute and um, just catch up and see how y'all been doing. I think instead of jumping right back into videos, right? Like I ain't just been gone for like a month. I think that maybe we should do a Q&A. Should we do a Q&A? Let's do a Q&A. Funny get to know you questions. Okay, I'm all about funny. So let's see. Let's see what they got on here. Y'all, I got dog hair on me, so excuse me. And I think there's something on my shirt, but this is a pajama shirt. Y'all know I work from where? Work from home. So I did not get dressed. Oh, okay. So this get to know me is some random questions. So let's just see what we got here. The first one says, how far will you venture in just your pajamas? Just to go get the mail or all the way to the grocery store? In just my pajamas? It depends if I have to get out the car or not because if I don't gotta get out the car, I'll go to the grocery store. You know, bring my car and my, or bring my groceries out to me. And um, it ain't nobody business what I got on while I'm sitting in my car. So if I don't gotta get out the car, I might wear my pajamas out. But for me, pajamas are like a, a t-shirt, like a graphic t-shirt and some leggings. Um, so it doesn't look like pajamas. It just looks like I'm about to go run errands real quick. So I'll go somewhere in my pajamas because I don't wear traditional, you know, pajamas in that sense. Uh, what's a better adventure, scuba diving or rock climbing? I'm not adventurous. I don't want to scuba dive and I don't want to rock climb. So I'm going to say for me personally, neither of those are great adventures. But if I have to do one, I'll rock climb. Like I'll go up a little bit and then I'll come back down. Like I ain't trying to achieve nothing. I ain't trying to be the best rock climber. So <laughs> favorite SpongeBob episode. I don't have one. What's the strangest nickname you've ever been given? Um, I don't have a strange nickname. I feel like people in my life all call me something different and I can kind of gauge where we're at in our friendship by like the nickname that you call me because people who've known me longer call me one thing and people who haven't known me as long will just use my given name. Um, the most, I guess, unique one that one of my close friends call me is Bear. And there's a backstory behind that one, but I ain't gonna share it with y'all. But yeah, she calls me Bear. Um, and she's the only one who calls me Bear, period. <laughs> um, how would I describe myself with one emoji? Probably like the thinking emoji. Cause it's like, it fits for everything. Like, what are you talking about? Or I'll think about if I wanna go. Or are you sure that's your response? You know, like it goes with everything. What you want to eat? Hmm. What you think about that? Hmm. You got me fucked up. Hmm. You know, like it just go with everything. So I'm gonna go with this emoji. Uh, dogs or cats? I'm dogs all day. I don't like cats. Don't like cats. Um, if I could switch lives with anyone for one day, who would I choose? If I could switch lives with anybody for one day, I would choose my daughter. Um, because I feel like as a parent and just as a person in general, you never fully know somebody because we don't get to experience life in the way that they experience it. So although I know her as my daughter, I don't know her as like who she is a friend 
to you know her friend groups or who she is as a student at school or who she is as an athlete on her sports teams or you know who she is as a granddaughter so I would like to maybe experience a day in the life from my daughter's point of view so yes that's who I would choose how long do you think you would last in, uh, in Hunger Games I wouldn't I don't have survival skills mm -mm, I wouldn't last um, what's the worst opening line anyone has ever used in a dating app I don't know um, pass I'm checking my work screens here I got two monitors up behind you guys so if you see me looking past you it's because mama got to get paid I got to be looking at my <laughs> I got to be looking at my work screens the next question is Did it hurt when I fell from heaven? Uh-uh. See, because the way God feel about me, he brought me down gracefully. Okay? I didn't fall. He be watching my steps, so I don't just, like, stumble and fall. So, no, it didn't hurt. Uh, I'm on my way to the grocery store. What can I get for you? My groceries from grocery pickup? Mm-hmm. What kind of trouble are you getting up to this weekend? Let me tell y'all, okay? It's gonna be lit. First, I'm gonna do my laundry. Mm -hmm. Then I'm probably gonna vacuum, yep. Um, I live in Minnesota, so I might put some plastic on the windows. Listen, no y'all can't come. It sounds lit as fuck, right? And, and I'm gonna do some homework because I am in school. And then I might, retwist my brother's dreads because he asked me to Shh. party is starting and guess what else guess what else guess what else guess what else i might even bathe the dogs stop it stop it yes weekend plans on lit um sunday priorities exercise sleep or mimosas on sundays i am usually doing homework yep so that's what my sundays are for wrapping up some homework for that week Have you ever chickened out of doing something that you now wish you would have done? No. I am a very um, in the moment type of person. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Um, if I don't want to do something, I have reason for why I don't want to do it. So there's nothing that I regret that I wish I would have done. What is the best part about being single? Oh, we spend the time with yourself getting to know yourself um sleeping in the middle of the bed <laughs> not having to explain to anybody why it took you seven hours to respond to a text message because you've been watching netflix and hulu on your phone and you don't want to close out the movie to um answer a text how about that spending time with my dogs because i got two of them now hi baby um everything is good about being single especially if you're in a healthy place with yourself like if you have focused on yourself and your happiness then being single is not a bad thing for you and you're not rushing to like find somebody just to fill up time like you end up allowing yourself to be in quality relationships because being single to you is not um like a hindrance or a bad thing or you know you're not in like a codependent relationship moving forward if I had the chance to go to space, would I take it? No. If God wanted me in space, he would have put me there. If it was my last day on earth, what would I eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? So I don't really eat breakfast. So I wouldn't eat breakfast. Um, lunch, I don't know. But dinner, I'm definitely going to do some collard greens, some cornbread, um, some ribs, a roast, Red beans and rice. Did I say baked mac and cheese? Okay, baked mac and cheese. Uh, mashed potatoes. I want some strawberry shortcake. A pecan pie. Um, a cheesecake. And 
Let me get some vodka Red Bull. Like, let's just keep it simple with a drink. Give me some Grey Goose or some Ciroc and a Red Bull. I don't need nothing fancy. Did you ever use a Walkman or did you grow up with iPods? First of all, mind your business. Yes, I've had Walkmans. And if you don't know what a Walkman is, subscribe to my channel and then go look it up. <laughs> I have a three day weekend. How am I gonna spend it? Sleeping in, heading to the mountains, or taking a trip to the beach? A three day weekend is not uncommon. Um, I have every single weekend off. So taking a Monday off with it or a Friday off with it. I don't know. I'll probably just get some stuff done, run some errands, do some stuff with my daughter. Nothing special. What is the weirdest job that I think that I would be really good at? A weird job that I think I would be good at. I don't know. I'm good at everything I do. So I'm gonna say YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna say YouTube. Um, how long do you think you would last in a survivor man type situation? I already told y'all, I wouldn't last. I don't have survival skills. I wouldn't last. I wouldn't last. If you ate a hamburger, would you consider that to be a healthy meal? I would consider it healthy that I ate. You know, eating is healthy. Um, the hamburger, sure. Mm. Think about someone that doesn't like you. How do you think they would describe me? Um, that they don't like me? I don't know. What do you think would be the worst way to die? Um, the worst way to die? probably being murdered like that's very fearful like you're you're being traumatized so that I would say that if you had to choose between never sleeping again or never eating again which would you choose oh I like doing both of those things okay if I never slept again would I feel tired? Like would I feel tired and exhausted and like delusional from like asleep? Cause if not, I would choose never sleep again, but I would incorporate more mindful meditation throughout my day. Um, but I can't not eat. I love eating. What superpower, what's a superpower that I would never want to read people's minds? Um, mm -mm. but a superpower that I would want would be the ability to control other people's superpowers that way I can just use whatever superpower I need in the situation boom if I got TikTok famous what do you think it would be for an accident something something accidental <laughs> I don't know how would you react if I decided to shave my entire head tomorrow? Well, considering I don't know who wrote this question, I don't think I would react. Shave your head if you want to. If I was gonna live off one food for the rest of my life, what would it be? Collard greens and cornbread. Hello, give me some collard greens and cornbread. And yes, it's considered one food because I like to put my cornbread on top of my collard greens so if you think about it it's one dish so if I can only have one food forever collard greens and cornbread what is the first job that I ever had the first job that I ever had was at Jimmy John's yep um, I did not start working until I was 19, I think. Maybe. It might have been 19. And um, I got a job at Jimmy John's and it wasn't enough money for me. So I got a second job at Old Navy and I worked both jobs uh, simultaneously. And then 
sorry, excuse me. I decided that I hated customer service, so I quit both of those and um, I got into healthcare instead. So, boom, been in healthcare ever since. On a scale from one to 10, how much do I hate public speaking? I don't hate public speaking. I don't get nervous in front of people. I don't know, it's a strange habit or it's strange quirk. Like I generally don't get nervous, so I'll speak in front of whomever. What was the first moment in your life that made you realize you were old? How old do they think I am? Okay, so the first moment in life that made me realize I was old, ooh wee, was when my knee popped. Y'all, <laughs> my daughter was outside with the dogs and I was at the front door uh, watching to make sure that they made it into the yard and I turned to walk away from the front door and like go up the stairs to go, you know, to, towards my kitchen, dining room, whatever. And y'all, my knee popped and I was like, oh my God. For what? For what reason did you have to pop like right now for no, for, for what? Lord, Lord, you ever have something just pop for no reason? Mm. As you get older, do you get more or less antisocial? Um, I don't feel like as I've gotten older that I've gotten more or less antisocial. I just feel like there are less um, things that I've done when I was younger that I would be interested in doing now. So I don't think I've gotten less uh, social I just feel like um, I'm more selective in the things that I want to do. So I don't think I'm antisocial. Now, do I like people generally? No. Um, <laughs> I, I don't like uh, small talk in a sense. So it's like if I'm out, especially if I'm at the, like the grocery store or running an errand or whatever, like in passing, I might be like, hey, hello, you know, and like keep it moving, but don't stop me at the register or, you know, in the elevator or, you know, somewhere and have a random conversation. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. What would I do if I were invisible for a day? If I was invisible for a day, I'd go to school with my daughter. I wanna see how she um, interacts at school with people. I get so many compliments about her and just um, like her personality and how funny she is and how respectful and polite she is and how nice she is. And um, I would like to just be able to see her the way other people see her. So yes, I would spend the day with my daughter. If I could steal one thing and never get caught, what would I choose? If I could steal one thing and never get caught. I'd steal my puppy. I'd steal my puppy. If you were not here and you belong to somebody else, I will come steal you. Yes, I would. Cause you're my favorite. Um, I wouldn't steal nothing from anybody cause I just believe in karma and whatever you take from somebody, you'll lose something of equal value. So no. If I found money on the ground, would you try and find the owner or just keep it? Um, if I find money on the ground, I'm definitely gonna see if I can return it to somebody. I have been coming out of a gas station one time, right? And there was $5 that I found on the ground. And I looked around and I was like, did somebody drop $5? And nobody responded. So I took the $5 and I put it on the windshield of a car that was at the pump. The person had went in to like, I guess pay or buy or whatever. So I just put the $5 on their windshield. But generally if I find money on the ground, um, I try to return it or I try to pay it forward. I don't uh, try to keep it. Anyway, um, I'm going to say that's that. How long have we been recording for 20 minutes? I just really wanted to pop in with you guys and say hello. I know it's been a minute we are going to get back to our reddit rants i also want to film a video of me trying uh derma planning i've been watching that online for a while now i don't have the stuff to do it professionally so really i'm just going to be like shaving my face and i want to see how smooth and how that feels um 
I've been trying a different gel on my hair. So if you guys are interested in that, I can do an updated like curly routine. I know I've mentioned that before, but I don't know if that's something that you guys want to see. If it is, just drop something down below and say, hey girl, let us get the curly girl. Let us get the curly girl method, what you using, whatever. Anyway, it was nice being able to drop a video for you guys. I am gonna jump back into work. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate everybody who has subscribed uh, previously and during this time frame that I've been gone. I know I've not posted in a month, but you guys were still subscribing and still watching, so I do highly appreciate that. If there are any videos that you guys um, would like for me to record, comment that down below. I can try to get that popping for you guys. And um, we are a smaller channel and we are a newer channel. However, I know that this is around the time that most um, YouTubers or content creators or whatever, they do uh, Vlogmas. So if that's something that you guys would like to see me do over here, I can post a video every day. You just have to let me know like what it is that you would like to see or if you want it to be more of the Reddit rant videos, I can do that. Um, I can do some more reactions to songs. You guys, okay, wait, before we go, my favorite song right now is Chris Sean Rock Vibe. If y'all have not watched uh, that video or listened to that song, Please go check it out and then come back here and tell me what y'all think. I think that that girl is talented and I think that she's about to outshine uh, Blueface and how she has been hanging on to him. I think he's going to be right at her coattail and I can't wait for her to find her self-love and her worth and just see how childish that man is and really stand in her own and let her light shine on her and move forward because I think that girl is going places. Um, a lot of her songs and her lyrics come from a place of pain. And listen, once that pain heals, that girl going to be bomb so go check out her song vibe i really really enjoy it the video is nice it's fairly short so go watch it and then come back here anyway thank you guys so much i will catch y'all in the next one peace